Hey guys. So today we will discuss about the different type of cell death. There are two type of cell death. This is apoptosis and necrosis. Now the difference between apoptosis and necrosis is that apoptosis is type of a naturally occurring cell death. It is like death of a, an old man, an aged man which is naturally occurring. There is necrosis is a type of death which is accidental in nature, like premature death. It can be due to any other reason than natural death like external agent, like trauma, pathogen, toxin, absence of the oxygen. So this is the basic differences and overview of apoptosis and necrosis and its difference. So apoptosis is kind of programmed cell death. Whereas necrosis is premature death. Apoptosis is naturally occurring and necrosis is due to any external agents like toxins, like ener uh, thermal or mechanical or electrical injuries. It can be due to any trauma or pathology or pathogens. Apoptosis is localized and it is for a, an individual cell. Whereas necrosis is including large number of the cells. Apoptosis is beneficial for the body because it can control the number of the cells. Whereas the necrosis is never beneficial. It is always harmful and body has any type of the injury and it has always an inflammatory reaction for necrosis. But there is no inflammation in apoptosis. So we will understand by this simple diagram. So in this diagram, let's say this is epithelium, this is blood vessel. So in epithelium, cell get divided every day. So let's say this is old cell and it need to be dead. So it is replaced by natural and healthy cell and it is get destroyed. Similarly in blood vessel, this is RBC. After 120 days, as we know, it's the lifetime of RBC. So, after 120 days, it is sent to spleen where it is destroyed and the new RBC takes place of old RBCs and this way, healthy body is maintained. It is, it is the example of apoptosis. Whereas in necrosis, due to any trauma, due to any toxin or pathogen, there is injury to tissue and this injury causes death of large amount of cell. Here it is only single cell, here many cells are involved. Now these cells are destroyed and the tissue is repaired by inflammatory reaction. So there is always an inflammation in necrosis and the healing takes place after some time. So this
necrosis for necrosis now we have already discussed that in in apoptosis and necrosis okay so in normal cell this is normal cell in apoptosis cell gets shrink the size of cell reduces and blebs are produced these blebs are continue to grow and they are converted into small bodies which are called as apoptotic bodies and these apoptotic bodies are taken up by macrophages or any type of neighboring cell whereas in necrosis this is normal cell there is enlargement of the cell there is swelling of the cell and the membrane integrity is not maintained here the membrane becomes leaky there are also blebs but membrane becomes leaky so the cell will ultimately burst or there will be degradation of the whole cell and it will be taken up by macrophages necrotic product cannot be taken up by neighboring cells so these are the cellular changes between necrosis uh, apoptosis and necrosis so membrane integrity is not maintained in the necrosis because cell li- lysis occur but in apoptosis apoptotic bodies as we have discussed are produced organelles changes in apoptotic and necrosis are that in apoptosis mitochondria releases pre apoptotic proteins we will discuss about them in next video in necrosis organelles swelling and lysosomal leakage are produced in apoptosis there is non random dna degradation whereas in necrosis there is random dna degradation so these are the basic differences between apoptosis and necrosis in next video we will discuss in detail how apoptosis and necrosis occur at the molecular level or in depth thank you